last line.
as of the entire bar. Okay, good. So, um, you know, I've been talking this morning about how the notes don't all have the same importance. Less, and if you heard about the Beethoven, I said, okay, the small notes are more important in the melody, and then you have to pay attention to the harmony. In this piece, even though it's written forte, that's not a forte from Bach, it's from Sherry, which doesn't mean that it's bad, but it basically has no dynamics written, okay? No long notes and short notes, <laughs> and no articulation written, so you have to figure everything out. And I know it's tricky, especially because, as I said, no short note and no long notes, they're all short. The thing is, even though they're all short, the rhythm is not the same. You could think it's the same because it's just 16th notes. It looks like it. If you just look at it strictly, mathematically, it is the same. The thing is, because, is that because it changes register and it changes voice and it changes actually patterns, then it gives you different rhythms. Um, for example, you see, um, yeah, that's, do you see anything unusual about this very beginning? Like if I tell you the first two bars, where are the first two bars? Yeah, you said the first two bars? Yes. Yes. What's odd about it? No, but the two, the first two bars. Yeah, but did you see, yeah, yeah, but that's, I was telling you what's odd because, you see, he will create. So where is the bar line? Yeah, but do you see how it is? Yes. Right? Yes. So it's, it's, he's trying to say, well, it's three eight could almost be 6-8 already. That gives you an idea. That it shouldn't be. I'm exaggerating. That's not what you did. But um, it gives you the idea that, well, you see, so even though it's creative, it's actually three line three bars if you want, uh, going down and then one going up, so if someone with this, it's a good idea. Um, if anything, it would be by two bars, but not by one. Okay, so you have to understand how the, well in this case it's not exactly melody, but the line is giving you a different rhythm. And then you have, you have one bar. And you have one note and then five. So there it's really one bar at a time. And then you have a different rhythm there. It, because you have. Good, 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 very nice. Uh, not so much. 
three, one, ta 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 ta. Two, well, someone wrote it there. Two bars, two bars, then one bar, one bar, one bar. Okay, and then tam tam, pom pom, pom pom, pom pom. You understand? Oh, oh. Uh, those minutes are great, but I'm not used to them. <laughs> okay.
So it's long, short, long. Okay? Then, because it goes up, but only on the second beat. I mean, the second half of the first beat. But the first beat is always plays.
you want to be. And it's okay that it sounds not teke 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 because that's not the point. You didn't write it so it would sound teke 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 on the contrary. Okay? Okay, so it's the same thing in everything. But the second half is almost easier. There are, it's the same thing, but actually there are fewer of these changes somehow. A little bit. Okay? Did you say you wanted to play a little bit of a... Uh, like that Okay, let's do that. Yeah, is it 6 8 or 3 4 or whatever? Don't look. You <laughs> don't have many, many options. I mean, take a guess if you don't know. It's it probably, it will probably be right if you just guess. It's not very tricky. It's not a tricky question. <laughs> it's not 6-8. Six 6-8 eight. <laughs> six eight is usually quite a fast tempo on dancing, right? <laughs> I mean, it could be slow 6-8, but it's still a kind of dancing. What's the most common? 4-4. Four four. There you go. Okay? The thing is that, you see, uh, I don't know if it 
well, it's not just you, but people tend to think that they put these things marking all these half beats and even quarter of a beat and everything. And so one tends to forget that it's in 4-4. Four, four. And one also forgets what adagio means very frequently. What does it mean? What do you think adagio means? Slow is lento. So it's not slow. Adagio, it can be slow, but it doesn't mean slow. Literally, what, what else could it mean? Yeah, that's very close to that, yeah. But actually, literally, it means with ease. You know, easy adagio. Okay, so, of course it's slow. Uh, but it doesn't mean that it has to be super slow. So you want to make sure, uh, since we're just talking about playing the right rhythm, you have to know where your beats are. And when I'm talking about the beats, it's not the half beats or the quarter of the beats or, you know, sixteenth of the beats. But first we need... <laughs>
you're going to try by yourself. Come on. So actually, he wrote Sei Solo, uh, Per Violino, uh, and maybe something like without accompaniment, I don't remember, but it's less important after. So, not really, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that, but Sei Solo, you see, Sei, in time means, could you guess what it would mean? It's close to the English word. Say or six. Six, the number six. Okay? So a lot of people would say, well, it's more one. Six soul pieces. The thing is that in the time, uh, when it's, you use plural, when there's more than one, right? Plural, you don't say say so, but it should be say soli, right? Uh, so it doesn't quite work to say say so means six so, because it should be soli. And then say so also means something else in Italian. It means say is the verb to be. Like you are, say, and solo means alone. So he wrote like kind of. It's a mix. Like you could think he wrote like six solos with a mistake, or just you are alone, and then four via the violin without accompaniment. 
And he wrote the, the entire sonatas in 1720. And that's when his wife, his first wife died. So his wife died and he writes these things and he writes, you are alone. And then we consider the, the Chacon to be kind of like a really in order to, uh, to his wife. Okay? So, but nonetheless, he writes this, he starts with Adagio, which doesn't mean low, slow, just means at ease. I mean, be easy, take it easy. And it's kind of a relief. And at the same time, it's a slow walk. And the kind of work that I had just before, if you think about it, where and when do you walk that slowly? Do you have any idea? Yeah, well, that's where, yes. But in which occasion? <laughs> yeah, that still is another place. I'm talking about which occasion, which event makes you walk really slowly. Yeah. So there's a bit of a, and at the same time, you know, it's like light goes on. So there's an aspect of it that could be thought of as a, as a really slow walk, either a funeral or just, as you say, it could be after a funeral. Okay, um, so it's not to finish on the sad note, but uh, that gives you an idea of uh, what state of mind he had when he wrote this. And, and it starts with the deepest, and you know, we play them now frequently like this. Mm. Not everyone does, but, but in Baroque times, it was a mm.